Hi, in this video we are going to show you how to use and get the most out of your MENA survey reporting system, which comes as standard in all ScanPro drain camera systems. The first thing we're going to do is show you how to begin your MENA survey. On your keypad, press the blue MENA button and from the drop down menu select New Project. This opens up the first page of project information. The information you input here will be displayed on your video recording and on your PDF survey report, so it does work in your favour to input as much detail as you can. Equally, if any of the sections don't apply to you, you can leave them blank and move on to the next. When you are ready, press the MENA key to move on to the next page. This next page is specifically about the run you are about to survey, so where you are starting, how deep the survey entry, the direction of flow, and so on. You can type in the word manhole, or like I have done, you can abbreviate to MH1, it's entirely up to you. All the information being asked here is designed to aid any future works on this site for third parties, so they know the full picture. Now you've input all your survey information, you're ready to begin your survey. Press the red circle to begin recording. The project information you input earlier will appear on the screen momentarily, and the pop-up box will appear, asking you to select your start node. This is simply the entry point where you begin your survey. Where it asks for remarks, you can leave this blank or leave notes like manhole cover damage as an example. It will prompt you to then take a snapshot. These snapshots help to build a good thorough report. For the sake of this demonstration, we are manually inputting the push distance whilst we create observations. But for you in the field, however, this is not an option you will have, so you would need to actually perform the survey and push the camera the full distance. It is important to take snapshots of all the key observations, not just problems. Noting a junction, a pre-existing liner or a 90 degree bend can be very helpful for future works if required. It wouldn't be good if a junction was blocked by a new liner installation for example.
Once you have finished surveying the run, press the stop button and select your end node. You will be asked to confirm the end node and the pipe serviceability. This is a ranking of 1 to 5, with 1 being completely blocked and 5 being completely clear. Finally, you'll be prompted to add a closing snapshot. Afterwards, your footer machine will display on the screen. This is something you can set up in the settings area. And finally, the red recording circle on the right hand side will turn yellow, and a note can be disturbed in the stadium will appear above it, before turning into a square. The big benefit of Mina is that it allows you to connect with a mobile app and open a whole world of possibilities. But to do this, you need to create a personal hotspot connection between your control box and your mobile phone or tablet. On your phone or tablet, go to your settings and enable your personal hotspot. Set a simple password, for example no spaces or special characters. Make sure that your device is easily identifiable. If it says iPhone and you're surrounded by iPhones, it will make this process harder for you. It is also key to note that a Wi-Fi connection would not work here. It has to be a dedicated connection between your device and your camera system. Once you have done this, go back to your control box and press the Wi-Fi button. This will bring up the list of all available Wi-Fi and personal hotspots. If your network isn't immediately available, simply refresh the screen. When you have it, use the arrow keys to select it and press the OK button. Type in your password and at the box and device connect. Now that you've established a personal hotspot connection, you can create a live stream to your mobile device. This is great for when you need to show a customer without taking them to the manhole, or when you cannot see the control box whilst performing your survey. Open up the MENA app and press the button on the left titled Pair with Inspection Device and Start Streaming. If you don't yet have the app, download for free from the App Store or Google Play Store. From here, it will instruct you to hold down the MENA button on the control box for 3 seconds to create the connection. Once connected, you'll get a live stream of the camera display with no time lag. The next feature on the MENA app is the ability to take a photo to add as your site image or cover image for the PDF report. Whilst in an open project, press the MENA key and select Add Site Image. Take a snapshot with the Max Pro camera or follow the on-screen instructions which will prompt you back to the MENA app. In the MENA app, press the button in the top right hand corner and choose whether to select an image from your photo library or to take a photo there and then. Once you are happy with it, select Use Photo and then in the top right hand corner click Send. You will then be prompted to hold down the MENA button for 3 seconds to initiate the transfer. Now we will show you how to send a survey map drawing from the MENA app to the control box and have it automatically formatted into your PDF report. 
Whilst in an open project, press the MENA key and select Insert Map Overview. You'll be prompted to follow instructions on the MENA app. We will go through all the drawing features in another video, so for now, here is one that we made earlier. When you've completed your survey drawing, press the share button in the top right hand corner of the screen. This will then finalise your drawing. Press this button again to open up a list of options to share your map to, including email, text message and Dropbox, if you have these apps. But also underneath you will see Share to Inspection System. You will then be prompted to hold down the MENA button for 3 seconds to initiate the transfer. A dialog box will appear on the screen, letting you know that a transfer is happening. Now that you've completed your survey, added a site image and a survey drawing, next up is to create your PDF report and send it to the MENA app for easy distribution. While still in the open project, press the MENA button and select Finalise Report. It is always important to finalise a report after any change, otherwise the changes won't be saved. Doing this will begin generating the PDF MENA report. How long this takes will depend on how much data is in your report. When it is finished generating, it will ask you if you'd like to transfer the report to the MENA app. Select yes and then refer to the MENA app to continue. In the app, select the right hand button titled View and Share Inspection System Reports. This is where all your transferred reports are stored. In the top right hand corner of this screen, press Request Report. This will prompt you to hold down the MENA button for 3 seconds to initiate the transfer. Your report will now transfer across to your mobile device, fully formatted with all of the information you inputted during your survey. Back in the app, and the transfer has been completed. Press More to rename your report to something you will recognise if you like. Press More again and select View Report to open up the PDF report. Here you will see your cover image, all of the pre-survey information you input, your survey map drawing, a clear diagram made up of all your observations and snapshots, and then a clear list of all your snapshots with the descriptions all packaged up for you in a matter of minutes. Return to the list of reports in the app and hit share to email it to your customer whilst you are still on site. Finally, press the MENA button again and select Close Project. If however you prefer to format the report back in the office, or you'd like to share the survey video too, you can transfer the whole project to a USB device instead. Insert a USB device into one of the slots and then press the File Manager button. This brings up a screen showing you all available storage options. Your reports will be saved to the internal storage, so select this and press the OK button. In this instance, we have four surveys on our system. If you press OK again, you can go into the survey file to look at the snapshots and video before you go ahead and copy them. Press Escape to return back to the file manager system when you are ready.
highlight the server you want to copy and then press Ctrl and C on the keypad to copy it. You will then be prompted to select a device to copy the survey file to. In this case, USB 2 is the only additional device plugged in, so press OK to begin the file copy. The file copy process will begin and will take a variable amount of time depending on the size of the file. Now if you look into your USB 2 device, you will see your files have been copied over. And that's our introduction to MENA survey. For more information, please feel free to contact a member of our team.